future of our country and of the world. Yes, I am referring to our beloved teachers. Teachers are the pillars of society. They are an integral component of not just our education, but also our upbringing, future and the person that we become. They play the role of our parents, friends, inspirations and role models, and at the same time do not fail to educate us, not just academically, but also in terms of hard work, dedication, perseverance, and integrity. Even in the books of history, we come across many great teachers such as Aristotle, Plato, Confucius, Dronacharya, who have not only imparted their extensive knowledge and wisdom to their students, but have also portrayed a special bond with their disciples, a bond which could not be easily broken by even the most grievous of temptations. This teacher-student bond is what separates a teacher from a tyrant. And amidst this lockdown where we've been asked to comply with the official laws of quarantine and lockdown, dear teachers, it truly pains me to be unable to meet up in person and experience those special moments of interactions as we did inside our classrooms. But even amidst this pandemic, our heroes rose and quickly accustomed themselves to this new digital world of online teaching and are ever so efficient in this field as well. Dear teachers, thank you for your love and constant support and I'd like to wish all of you a very happy Teacher's Day. Now we have our principal, Reverend Father Bikash, who will be addressing us. Dear friends, guides, and philosophers and all those who are viewing this clip we are indeed in a very special situation when we have to express our love emotion appreciation through artificial intelligence literally it sounds negative and makes us emotionless human beings but metaphorically 
it sends a strong message to the humanity imagine how just a tiny invisible virus has caused so much of havoc to the whole world and pushed us indoors and the greatest of the scientists with all their acclaimed knowledge of medicine and technology are bluntly helpless the most superpowers in the world are clueless they are defeated that mighty is the power of nature the power of the almighty the clarion call today is to return to the nature and be truly human the humanity has gone through the tough time and now they are ready for a new beginning we the educators fraternity need to play the most vital role at the threshold of this new era we need to be role models we need to be exemplary leaders we need to be truly human in our words our dealings and in our attitude money amassing wealth property living restless life rising to success climbing on the shoulders of another are all futile the life becomes meaningless now that we have been spared and given another chance to live let us live a renewed life bring changes in the society becoming truly human i shall end this message with a quote which i came across recently a very old quote allow it to sink in your hearts if you want to bring about drastic changes in yourself and in the humanity from a school principal who survived the nazi camp a school principal who survived the nazi camp wrote i am a survivor of a concentration camp my eyes saw what no person should witness gas chambers built by learned engineers children poisoned by educated physicians infants killed by trained nurses women and babies shot and killed by high school and college graduates so i am suspicious of education my request is help your students to be human your efforts must never produce learned monsters skilled psychopaths or educated maniacs reading and writing and spelling and history and arithmetic are only important if they serve to make our students more human let us truly dedicate our service our life to make our students truly human beings thank you father for those wonderful words on education one tends to understand a person better if he or she has been with him for many years so what better way to get to know our teachers better than ask our very own students so here we have a couple of students that we've asked similar questions so as to let you all know the strong student teacher relationship that we here at don bosco park circus have A teacher's real job is to inspire and encourage students to become better versions of themselves. Apart from teaching, a teacher is like a second mother who cares, 
and loves the students while teaching life skills and moral values. The real job of a teacher is to shape young minds and provide to the society its future leaders. It is a teacher who through his hard work and dedication makes this world a better place. I think the real job of a teacher is to nourish the qualities of the students and guide them in proper direction for a fruitful life. Because they have helped me to think independently and realize that making mistakes is just a way of learning in life. I love my teachers and admire them, for they guide us with patience through thick and thin, and brings out the best in us. I love my teachers because they encourage us, nurture us, and also act as our mentors, guides, coaches, and friends. They are the ones who develop our interest in reading, writing, and learning. I love all my teachers because they also love us, guide us as our parents. All my teachers played a special role because whenever they have scolded me or praised me, it has helped to bring out the best in me. Benjamin Franklin said that the person who deserves the most pity is a lonesome one on a rainy day who does not know how to read. Thank you, Hema ma'am, for ensuring I am never lonely. Your encouragement around reading has been a gift for life. Yes, my grandfather inspired me a lot. He was a teacher in a village school. He helped a lot in spreading education among illiterate villagers. He is one of my motivations. All my teachers I have met in my life inspired me a lot to think clearly and creatively. Yes, of course, because they don't just teach, they nurture us and help us to accept ourselves. Hands that rock the cradle rules the world, said Napoleon. After all, a teacher is like a second mother. So what a teacher teaches goes much beyond the classroom. It creates the society of tomorrow. Yes, besides teaching, a teacher besides teaching in the classroom, a teacher has a large role to play. He or she is our our role model and we are always inspired by the by his or her ideals teacher is not only for giving lessons in the classroom but also for giving lessons of life for being a good human being they are so special lovable to me that a few months of physical distancing cannot impact the bond we share having not met my teachers in person is sad the huge distance with teachers have created a vacuum that I hope will very soon be eliminated. I think the huge distance between me and my teachers has not affected our relationship much because I always have their ideals and ideas to move forward. I miss seeing my teacher in front of me, but actually the physical distance does not matter when we are connected solely. A teacher's profession is a lifetime dedication and therefore cannot be compared to any 9-to-5 job. Yes, I feel that teachers are not given as much importance as other professions in our society. After all, teachers are the sole reason for which a person grows up to have an occupation, whether a lawyer, a doctor or an actor. No, I don't think so. Our teachers are the backbone and architect of our society. They are the ones who are the pillars of our society. Therefore, they are always respected by everyone. Teacher is the maker of the society, so they are given much more respect than other professions. I definitely would like to be a teacher and bring out the good in others. Yes, it would be a privilege to be a teacher because that would give me an opportunity to build the hopes and dreams of our nation. I always opt to be a teacher shaping and transforming young minds into complete human beings, possibly giving the Jewish society its future leaders. I have realized the importance of teacher in our society. I am highly impressed and opted to be a teacher. A teacher who has left an indelible mark in my lifetime is my class 5 class teacher who has shown much more confidence in me than anybody else. Disaster and treat those two impostors just the same. Were the 
famous lines from Rudyard Kipling's If. Christina Mam helped me to understand this last year when I was unhappy with my performance. On the very first day of school, the guidance, care and love that I received from all my teachers has left an inedible mark on my memory. I can never forget the support that I received from them. I was little bit introvert and so my previous class teacher, Christian Ryan Mam, selected me as the monitor of the class to overcome the situation. We love you teachers. Though we may not be able to express our thankfulness every day, we are however indebted to you for all your love and effort. Teachers, I can only thank you for brightening our day amidst all the mayhem caused by the current pandemic. Thank you for being with us and wish you a very happy Teachers Day. Our teachers are not only our teachers, rather they are our friends, philosophers and guides all molded into one person. I will always be grateful to them for their support, care and love. Dear teacher, I wish you all a very special Teachers Day. I am blessed having you in my life. Thank you for inspiring hope in me and igniting my imagination. The Bosco teaching community with the love and guidance have definitely been a co-factor in shaping me to what I am today. The teaching community at Bosco have ingrained in my mind that virtue and knowledge are the most important traits of human beings. I thank God that I am part of this wonderful family where Virtus et Scientia is our motto. Yes, the Bosco teaching com community has helped it has shaped me from a small kid to a, uh, to a complete human being. I am always grateful to the Bosco teaching community for helping me in this long journey. I take, I take pride in being part of such a glorious institution. Don Bosco teaching community has had a big role in shaping my personality and character. I am highly impressed by this teaching philosophy of Don Bosco school. So my dad told me this funny story the other day where if you take a student and combine it with another student, you have a fight. If you take a teacher and combine it with another teacher, you have debates and arguments on extensive topics. But if you take a student and take a teacher and combine them together, well, he left me in suspense, so I really don't know the answer. But if I were to take a guess, it would result in the students doing something like this. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Dev Maheshwar, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. The teacher is the creator, the teacher is the preserver, the teacher is the destroyer. The teacher is the supreme being, to that teacher do I bow down. Thank you, my dear teachers. Wish you a very happy Teacher's Day. Dear teachers, please accept my special gratitude for your guidance, support and love extended towards shaping my life with rich values and for making me a true Bosconian. I thank you all and wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Wishing all the teachers of the school a very happy Teacher's Day. At some point or the other, every teacher has told me the importance of questioning. Every teacher has asked me to question whatever we are taught. And thank you teachers for making me do that because now I apply it to life. I don't accept things without questioning and I think that is pretty important to survive. Thank you for that. Thank you teachers for guiding us from this to this. A very happy Teachers Day to all my teachers. Thank you for all that you have done for us and for preparing us to face the world after we leave the school. A very happy Teachers Day to all of y'all. Yes, there is no one to punish me for keeping such hair. I miss y'all so much. I just uh, hope that we have a cricket match after all this is over. Thank you so much. Happy Teachers Day. I want to wish all teachers a very happy Teachers Day. Thank you for making school and online classes fun even though we aren't going to school anymore. Thank you and have a great day. As a student, it is quite impossible for me to sum up every single thing 
that you teachers have done for the all of us. But on this one day, I will make an endeavor. So with a heart filled with love and respect, let me wish all of you a very happy Teacher's Day. Kabir once said that if you find your teacher and God in front of you, take the blessings of your teacher because it is the teacher who introduced you to God. That is the value you teachers hold in our lives. I know we're not there to trouble you with our fests and co-curriculars, but we really miss your teachers. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Happy Teacher's Day to all my beloved teachers. Thank you so much for guiding me throughout my school life and preparing me for the real world ahead. Although this is officially my last day under your care, you will always be my teacher forever. Thank you so much dear teachers. my teachers i would like to firstly thank you for tolerating my nuisance over the last few years and secondly i hope you had a very enjoyable day today thank you once again and a very happy teachers day 2020 has been an awful year and uh, i never expected my last year in the school to be like this but it is what it is so i like to take this opportunity to thank all my teachers because my journey to class 12 has been amazing and Uh, it wouldn't have been the same without all of you so thank you happy teachers day and uh, let's hope 2021 is better well, my dear teachers at the gospel school park said that they wish you a very happy teachers day from me What's so special about the teachers of Don Bosco School Park Circus is that no matter what your dreams are what you aspire to be they will always help you achieve them Over the years I've never met a single teacher who did not support me or encouraged me to do better Even when I missed classes for extracurricular activities they were always there to help me cope with my academic stuff I'm forever indebted to the teachers in fact the entire staff of Don Bosco School Park Circus for making me who I am today for preparing me for the real world thank you to all the teachers for being our guiding force for the past 14 years and a very happy teachers day Now that we've reached the end of our program we have but just one thing left that is our address by the student council to our beloved teachers I might not have said this earlier but I'm really really grateful to have such amazing teachers like you and today I want to thank you for everything you've done for me for the school and for the society in general My future is brighter, my thinking is sharper, and I know that many doors will open for me in the future because of your genuine care. Whenever I had a problem in life, it was you who comforted me. Whenever I was lost or didn't know what to do, it was you who showed me the way. You have been so much more than a teacher to me. You have been my friends, my mentors, and my guides, and for that I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you have ever done for me. The most difficult homework that you've given me is to find out who I really am, to find out my true potential. This 14 year long journey has indeed been an enriching experience and I've enjoyed so much that I wish it did not end. I know we've not been able to show the love and respect you always deserve and we've not been able to reciprocate that but I want you to know one thing Although we don't show it but internally we love you with all our hearts despite the numerous incomplete class works the countless missing homework assignments and all the classes that have ever bunked i just want to say i'm extremely grateful to all my teachers who never gave up on me instead who always encouraged me to be a better person i thank you for leading me through my entire school life for 14 years and making me and molding me into the person i am today i am not sure how i am going to live without your lessons and your words of wisdom after i graduate next year but i know that i can go into the real world now and be confident about who i am and what i can achieve the classroom is not our favorite place to be but we cannot think 
of better teachers than you to be stuck with the entire day from back in the day when i used to raise my hand waiting so eagerly to answer the question to the present day scenario where i hide behind my classmates backs just hoping not to get called upon from dreading to even approach you to now not wanting to waste a single opportunity to not interact with you from all the memories that we've shared from class picnics to christmas celebrations everything will remain in our hearts forever there was a moment in class 10 when i was getting off track when i was getting indisciplined going into bad habits and all some of you teachers recognized it you talked to me about it and i got back on track today whatever i am wherever i am it's all because of you and because of your hard work because of your lessons leading the youth of today is like taming a wild horse it's a herculean task but growing up at bosco you never feel that way because our teachers just make it look so effortless but it's only when you get to an age where we are that you know what it truly means to be a teacher in this day and age thank you for teaching us lessons that we will carry throughout our entire life journey and for giving us a fun engaging classroom throughout our 14 years you always pushed me to my limits and i often did not understand why but after spending so much time away from you i realized it was because you saw something special in each one of us and wanted each one of us to realize our true potential so for the past 2 years i have been in the commerce team and i have been studying the subject of accountancy and there's a basic principle over there that every transaction has two aspects to it it has two sides two effects so i tried to go a bit deeper into it and connect this principle of accountancy to life and i got one connection and that is that everything we ever do in our lives they're all transactions every single moment we are making transactions now there are two types of transactions one is the monetary when we give something to get something in return something which can be measured in terms of money but the second thing is the most precious and you have the right to that kind of transaction something which nobody else in the world ever has had and that is the transaction of love and happiness you've given us everything you've ever had and you've never expected anything in return you have worked so hard in shaping us into the students and men we are going to be tomorrow i thank you for being such amazing teachers and for all your great lessons in life and in the classroom online classes seem really stressful but you make sitting in front of a computer screen for 40 minutes without your friends enjoyable academics is only just a small part of a bigger life lesson that you've taught us and for that i am and will forever be indebted thank you dear teachers for all that you've done for us for all that you are to us and for all that you've left with us you have always made each and every lesson in the classroom so enjoyable yet so educational we would never have been the people that we are today if it weren't for you you give us wisdom you give us knowledge you give us love and in return you get the feeling of happiness and that is why i respect you so much is because you don't do it for money you don't do it for fame you don't do it for anything else you just do it for us you spread happiness in order to be happy and by doing that you make the world a better place you make us better human beings you make yourselves better human beings i don't know what to say i seriously don't know what to say because you've given your whole lives to us i seriously feel happy satisfied fulfilled in my life and that's because of you Thank you teachers. Thanks a lot and happy teachers day. When I am down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burdened be Then I am still silence until you come and say a while with me you raise me up so i can stand on mountains you
You raise me up 